Hi friends. A road trip from Hosur to Velankani can be an exciting journey through the diverse landscapes of Tamil Nadu. Here are some details about the trip. Distance and time. The distance between Hosur and Velankani is approximately 403 kilometers. The journey can take around 8 hours and 26 minutes by car or taxi. Route. You can take the NH44 and NH48 from Hosur to reach Velankani. This route will take you through major cities like Krishnagiri, Velour and Tiruvannamalai. From there, you can take the NH36 to reach Nagapattinam and finally take the local roads to reach Velankani. Alternative modes of transport. If you prefer not to drive, there are other options available. You can take a train from Hosur to Nagapattinam and then take a local taxi or bus to Velankani. The train journey can take around 13 hours and 13 minutes. Toll charges. Please note that there will be several toll plazas on the way and you should be prepared for the toll charges. Best time to travel. The best time to visit Wellington is during the cooler months from November to February. However, if you want to participate in the annual feast at the Wellington Church, you should plan your visit in late August or early September. Things to keep in mind. Ensure your vehicle is in good condition before the journey. Carry enough water and snacks for the journey. Also, it's advisable to start early to avoid traffic and reach your destination in daylight. Remember, the journey is as beautiful as the destination. Enjoy the scenic beauty of Tamil Nadu as you travel from Hosur to Belinkani. It was a cool, crisp morning in Hosur when I set off on my road trip to Vilankani. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a golden glow on the city. With a sense of excitement and anticipation, I started my journey. The road from Hosur to Vilankani is a long one, stretching over 400 kilometers. But the beauty of the journey lies in the landscapes that you pass through. As I drove through the countryside, I was greeted by lush green fields, towering mountains in the distance, and the clear blue sky above. It was a sight to behold. Here are some interesting points you need to know about the roads of Tamil Nadu on your trip from Hosur to Velankani. Highway Infrastructure Tamil Nadu has one of the best road infrastructures in India. The state has a total road length of 167,000 km, 
of which 60,628 kilometers are maintained by highways department. This includes over 2,000 kilometers of national highways. Scenic beauty. The road from Hosu to Belinkani will take you through a diverse range of landscapes. From the industrial cityscape of Hosur, you'll move into the lush greenery of the eastern ghats as you pass through Krishnagiri and Velo. As you approach Nagapatanam in Velinkani, you'll be greeted by the beautiful coastline of the Bay of Bengal. Roadside amenities. The highways in Tamil Nadu are well equipped with amenities for travel. You'll find plenty of rest stops, eateries, and fuel stations along the way. Do try the local cuisine at the roadside eateries. They offer a taste of the rich culinary tradition of Tamil Nadu. Historical landmarks. The route is dotted with several historical landmarks. For instance, Velour is known for its magnificent Velour Fort, which dates back to the 16th century. Similarly, Thiruvannamalai is famous for the Annamalyar Temple, one of the largest temple complexes in India. Safety Tamil Nadu's highways are considered to be some of the safest in the country. They are well maintained and have clear signages. However, like with any road trip, it's important to follow traffic rules, stay alert, and take regular breaks to ensure a safe journey. Remember, the journey is as beautiful as the destination. Enjoy the scenic beauty of Tamil Nadu as you travel from Hosur to Velinkani. The road from Hosur to Vilankani is a long one, stretching over 400 kilometers. But the beauty of the journey lies in the landscapes that you pass through. As I drove through the countryside, I was greeted by lush green fields, towering mountains in the distance, and the clear blue sky above. It was a sight to behold. A stopover for a breakfast. After a few hours of driving, I stopped for breakfast break enjoyed a delicious early morning breakfast at a local restaurant. The hospitality of the people and the vibrancy of the city left a lasting impression on me. Onwards to Vilankani. Post my break, I continued my journey towards Vilankani. The road was a bit challenging with a few bad stretches, but the excitement of reaching my destination kept me going. I passed through the towns of Pirambalur and Thanjavur, each with its own unique charm and history.
Wellingkani, also known as Wellingkani, is a special grade panchayat town in Nagapattinam district in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It lies on the Coromandel coast of the Bay of Bengal, 350 km south of Chennai, Madras, 12 km south of Nagapattinam, and 33 km southeast of Tiruvarur. Once a port that traded with Rome and Greece, the tiny commercial center gradually lost its importance to the larger city of Nagapattinam. The town was among the worst hit by the tsunami caused by the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. The town is home to one of the most visited Latin Catholic shrines called the Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health. Wellingkani has been chosen as one of the heritage cities for the Heritage City Development and Augmentation Yojana Ride, scheme of the Government of India. Few places where you can visit in Wellingkani. Wellingkani Church, located on the sandy shores of Bay of Bengal, Wellingkani Church is considered as one of the holiest Christian pilgrimage destinations in India. Wellingkani Beach, Wellingkani Beach is one of the most scenic beaches on the eastern coast of India. Wellingkani Church Museum, the museum is a building adjacent to the church. This museum was built to house the offerings which the devotees presented to the mother as a token of gratitude for the bountiful blessings they received. Nagapattinam The district came into existence in the year 1991 with its headquarter in Nagapattinam city. Its long stretch of beach runs along the Bay of Bengal for 188 kilometers. Sikkal A beautiful Murgan temple dedicated to Lord Singer Valen is housed in a large complex. Handicrafts and Silk, Wellingkani is also known for its handicrafts and silk. Remember to check the timings and any entry requirements before visiting these places. Enjoy your visit to Wellingkani. Finally, after a long and exciting journey, I reached Vilankani. The sight of the majestic Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health was awe-inspiring. Known for its miraculous healing powers, the church attracts thousands of devotees every year. The journey home. As I drove back to Hosur, I carried with me a bag full of memories and a heart full of joy. The road trip from Hosur to Vilankani was not just a journey but an experience that I will cherish forever. So, if you are planning a road trip soon, consider driving from Hosur to Vilankani. It's a journey you won't forget. Hi friends, I hope you have liked this video and thanks for staying till the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video and information provided in this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon. I would be very soon posting another video on my return journey back from Wellingkani to my hometown in Udubi. That journey is also going to be very exciting thank you once again and stay safe. Bye bye.